One. Okay, so dudes, I have been busy in between episodes. Look at this. That is so much cobblestone. And that isn't it. By the way, however many cobblestone there is in this chest in stacks is however many likes I'd like to have on this video. What? That's like a lot of likes. Anyways, as you guys can see, I've been pretty busy in between episodes. We've got six, I think, cobblestone generators. And look at this. Captain Flatulence and I have been at it to make this the most awesome island ever. We've got things set up for this episode today that I'll show you later. But first of all... Ah. Wait, what? Yeah, what, what's up? Hello, Yai. I have a mission for you today. I need you to start making a factory, Yai. I may or may not have figured out a way of leaving this island, Yai. Okay. Um, what do I need, Captain Flatulence? You're going to need the following items, Yai. A hopping bonsai pot and a melter. Good luck, Yai. Come back to me once you have completed today's missions, Yai. Uh, okay. Okay, so guys, Captain Fleshlands just said he figured a way out of leaving this island. So comment down below what you guys think he's actually going to do. Okay, but in the meantime, I have a bit of an idea. So for this to work, we're going to need sand, clay and gravel. By the way, you guys seem to really like the last episode. So if you want to see more of these videos, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and turn on notifications and I'll be sure to make more, so yeah. Okay, so in this crafting station, we're gonna type in clay. So for clay, we're gonna need, well, we're gonna need this. So let's just make a ton of clay. Then we're gonna need to get sand. Let's get tons of sand. There we go, Ooh, there we go. And then let's get gravel and pow. There we go, and we should have enough for a couple more clay as well. Okay, there we go. So we just got enough clay. Now we're going to create something called Groot. Look at this. What? This is all that we need. And if I click this plus icon, there we go. And we've got clay remaining, which we're going to need in a second. And I'll show you why. Boom. There we go. We just got a couple of stacks of Groot. Two and three quarter stacks of Groot. Now, this is what we're going to do with the Groot. I just realized we don't have enough. Uh... I need to get coal as well. Crap. We're going to split this group into that much. There we go. And now we're just going to let all of that smelt down into something we're going to need in a second. And it's going to fill all of these little spots in here. But while that's happening, let's grab some wood. A lot of wood. And you guys are not ready for this. So let's grab a ton of wood. Now, we're going to create a couple of chests, right? So we've got, there we go, we've got nine chests. That's good enough, right? We're going to put the chest in the center and we're going to create wooden hoppers. I know, right? That's kind of, that's kind of cool. Now, this wooden hopper, what we're going to do is we're going to place this wooden hopper facing down onto this block like that. There we go. You guys are going to see why in a second. There we go. I'm going to pick this wood piece back up. And then we're going to create another chest, a double chest, on the top of this. There we go. I'm going to take that. And then we're going to put one, two. So you guys see how there's like a double chest on top of that, right? And in fact, I'm actually going to speed this up a little bit because wooden hoppers aren't that fast. So we're just going to do that. There we go. So you guys can see how there's like a chest and there's two hoppers going into one another. Well, under here, there's going to be something quite cool. Watch this. I'm going to take all of these seared bricks, right? There we go. And there we go. And I'm going to create something with this glass as well, right here. So if I do this, 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 there we go. We now have a melter. I'm also going to need, I think it's like this. There we go. A seared tank. I'm also going to need a couple of faucets. I'm going to need one of these tables and I'm going to need one of these bad boys. There we go. So I'm going to put the melter right here. I'm going to put the seared tank underneath the melter. I'm going to put these two different tables to the right and to the left of the melter. 
there we go so I'm gonna put this one right here and I'm gonna put this one right here so this will allow us to create like ingots and tool parts and stuff like that and this will allow us to create blocks now these little faucets that I created over here can go on each side of the melter and there we go. We now basically have a small smeltery just to make iron blocks. You guys are going to see how OP that is in a second. Right now, we have the beginning of everything in this series right there. The beginning of everything within the Iron Age. Do you guys know how we have two buckets of water in my inventory? Look, I'm going to put the water down here. I'm going to need to use one of these buckets. Now watch this. This this has a torch underneath it, right? So I can create lava. I'm going to put this clay bucket into use. And I'm going to put the lava inside this uh, tank, this seared tank. And now you can see when I right click on this, it says, oh, it says no fuel found, but it's both. You can see that there is lava there, right? So there's there's basically a bit of lava in that tank. And if we put iron over here, it'll do something to the iron. So let me get some iron saplings and show you guys what it looks like. Actually, just before we get iron saplings, we need to do something real quick. We need to smelt these two iron ingots we made last episode. You remember when we made like iron amber and, and smelted it in a furnace? We need to turn this into something. So what we need is an apple. So for that, we need to actually plant some oak saplings, I think. There it is. Look at that. Okay, so now we have apples. We have crushing tubs. I'm going to put these apples in here and I'm going to crush these apples into apple seeds and apple juice, but we don't need that right now. There it is. You see those little apples in there? That's exactly what we need. Oh, my, my pickaxe broke. Dang it. There we go. These apples have already grown. Holy crap, the apples in here. Okay, I'm going to vein mine this tree up. Oh, look at all of these apples. Okay, there we go. So we still have only one apple sapling. Now you guys see this bucket of water? I'm going to put this bucket of water in this wooden cauldron. And then I'm going to put these two apples, apple saplings in here. Watch this. Boom and boom. Acacia saplings. Now we have two acacia saplings. Now watch this. You see how the iron is now smelted and we've got two iron ingots. If I put one of these saplings in here and right click on this faucet, watch this. Look at that. You see what it's turning into right now? This is so essential to the iron production of ours. There it is. And we still have one iron ingot remaining. So let's make another iron sapling. I'm going to put iron in here. And down here, there's a thing called iron amber, which we crafted in the last episode. But we can craft this with the iron saplings drops. There we go. We got six iron amber. Now, all I have to do is pick this up, right? Put these iron amber in here. Now they go two by two into this, this smelts them all, and this turns them into blocks. Oh, that thing bussin'. Okay, there we go. So now, there we go, look at that. Look at top middle, it says 20% progress, right? When this gets to 100%, it's going to create an iron block. And 100%. We just got an iron block. There we go. One, two, three, and four. And now we've got just this set, but this will smell in time. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a ton and a ton of these. These are called bonsai pots, right? Now, we have two iron blocks. Let me turn these into iron ingots. I've got all this wood here. I'm going to take this wood. I'm going to make a couple of chests. There we go. And then uh, this is what we're going to do with these chests. We're going to put all of them here. We're going to make four hoppers, right? We're going to keep the rest of the chest. We're going to put these bonsai pots here and make hopping bonsai pots. Now we have four hopping bonsai pots. So over here, if I break these torches, right? And I put these chests right here. There we go. And then I put these bonsai pots on top. I get some dirt and I put the dirt inside these things, right? And let's say I want to automate coal, which I do. So I'm just going to automate these two saplings by putting the coal. Look at that. The tree is growing inside the bonsai pot. 
but this isn't the best part. Watch this. So in the top middle, it says how much it's growing, right? It's currently at 42% grown. Once this reaches 100% grown, watch this. It's at 65% right now. Okay, there we go. So it's, there we go, 100%, watch this. It went directly in this chest. So let's just say, I, uh, I, I tell Captain Fletchens, hey, could you come over here and like stay here and watch this, right? He'll chunk load all of this. And all of this stuff is just going to continue going no matter where I am in this island. So let's just do something really quick, right? You guys know how we're sort of limited on the amount of iron we have and the amount of clay we have, right? Let's, um... Let's break these real quick. Let's empty the chest right here, right? Let's put these bonsai pots on these chests. There we go. Take some dirt, put the dirt on there. Now, the two things we need to automate bonsai pots are clay. There we go. And iron. There we go. Because all of the rest is lava, which is cobblestone. Cobblestone melted equals lava. And we have unlimited cobblestone. So we now basically have unlimited bonsai pots. And just remember, this entire island came from one dirt tree. Now we might actually be able to put hoppers underneath there so that it can pick up the stuff and put it in a chest. That might be a lot better. Are they saying wow? Wow. 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 Is that wow? Wow. 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 Look at everything I just got. Okay, there's something in here that was so important to the series, and I'll show you guys what it does in a quick second. Holy crap. Look at this. I got five rotten flesh. Now, you guys see how it does two bars of, of hunger, right? And you guys know how this, like, gives one bar of hunger? It's terrible, right? It's really terrible, but look at this. This normally can poison you, which is why those little... You see how my, like, food bar is, like, green and flashing? That's how much it's supposed to give you, but because it's green, it's poisonous. So if I put these on the drying racks... So you see how these are gonna dry now? Look at the top middle. 1%. These are so slow, but also it's drying right now. And that's going to give us a source of food that is going to be so much more helpful than the current food we're eating, which is terrible. We need a bone sapling, which is a petrified sapling. So um, let's just get petrified saplings. There we go. And uh, make some bone meal and just do like a quick boom, pow. There we go. We've now got a bone sapling, so I'll grow this over here. Just got a skeleton skull. What does that even do? You can craft these, but what can you do with these? A tombstone. You can create a player trap and a valentine's block. Okay, I'm not going to judge. Okay, so the f now the first thing we're going to need is tin. We're going to get tin, we're going to just do this so we can get two tin amber, which is perfect. We're going to put this in the melter. Yeah, we're going to put this in the melter. So we're going to put, oh, we don't want that. We want to put a two, the, the two tin amber in the melter. Oh my goodness, that smells fast. There we go. So now we've got 500. Oh yeah, we've got four ingots. Not much. That's enough. We're going to put this with on a birch sapling. Oh, uh, yeah, I've only got one. So put it on a birch sapling and then we'll get a tin sapling. Oh, it's taking its time. There we go. Okay, 99%. There we go. A tin sapling. So let's go automate this real quick. Okay, so the next thing after that is we're going to need to get another type of sapling. I think I have the saplings I require. I think I put them all over here. There we go. Okay, so... I'm going to need a couple of coal saplings for this. I'm also going to need my bucket of water, which I think I put over here. There we go. I'm going to need to put this... Oh, well, there's water in here already. So one, two. There we go. Now we have dark oak saplings. So we've made tin saplings, dark oak saplings. We need to make... I hope you guys have got your pen and paper ready. We need to make lead, gold, redstone, lapis, mineral silver and a special sapling that I'm going to tell you guys at the end of this video. So stay tuned because we're going to make that. So first of all, now we need to make a lead sapling. 
So for that, we need lead amber, and lead amber looks like this. So we need petrified iron resin, sand resin, and blue dye. We need dark oak sapling water bottle. Okay, that's easy to get. Bone resin and clay resin. So we have bone resin, I believe, over here, actually. Right now, what we're going to need is we're going to need those dark oak saplings that we put away. Uh, right here. We're going to need the bone resin, which is over in the chest over there. And we're going to need clay resin and a water bottle. So I believe we have... Oh, we've got clay. We've not got clay resin here we've got perfectly enough actually to make glass bottles and then we we do one two three there we go we've got three water bottles we need clay which actually i started automating over here so oh we've got bone resin and we've got clay resin over here so clay resin there we go and then in this chest we're gonna go this that 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 and this so there we go we now have a lapis sapling which we can start growing over here oh I, I forgot to cut this down okay so now we should be able to make this pow we now have a lapis block which we can turn into that and then we can make lead which lead sap lead ambers is needing of all of this stuff which I put all away okay great there we go okay so pow six iron amber okay so now we take this dark oak sapling we need the lead amber to go into here and oh that smelts really fast okay we're good so once this smelts we're gonna dunk it on this sapling there we go one block let's just uh dunk that onto there and see what that does look at that it's turning into slowly but surely turning into a lead sapling boom there we go we now have a lead sapling that i have to automate okay so the next thing we're gonna need is so we're gonna need sand resin okay we're gonna need lead resin okay and i think Think there's a couple of other things we're going to need uh, iron resin and a yellow dandelion so i think we did get oh we didn't get so how do we get dandelion yellow hey guys future mark here uh, so the production of yellow dye didn't go well at all in fact it didn't happen uh the reason why it didn't happen is i think the game bugged so i made grass and I planted like a load of bone meal on it and every flower but dandelion yellow spawned and so if you guys don't know this is like a custom version of of Sky Factory like there's tons of mods added for performance and I think one is causing an issue with the dandelion modified spawn rate so they like they modified the spawn rate of dandelions to be higher normally because you need it for like the series and it didn't spawn so i had to spawn one in but don't be mad because i i did try my best to get it and you guys could see that i have tons of flowers in my inventory uh but i'm sure captain flatulence is gonna have a compensation thing for next episode i think i'm gonna die okay so i got a yellow dandelion flower so we need one yellow dye lead there we go and then we need lead amber there we go. Uh, oh, we need, um, oh, goodness me, gold amber. So gold amber, there we, sand, there we go. So now we should have enough. We have enough for one gold amber. Whew. Oh, wait, uh, this could cause problems. I'm going to have to empty out the rest of this lead. Can I make a lead block? Because we don't want the gold and the lead to mix to make a different molten metal. Okay, so we've got a lead block there and then we're gonna have to empty out the rest of this lead into this and it's gonna stop and then we're gonna have to break this and place it back down. There we go. And then we got the gold amber that we need and uh, we need a sapling real quick. There we go. I put the sapling in here. The gold is currently smelting and there we go. It's almost melt. There we go. And let's just do that. There we go, almost done. There we go, okay. Money grows on trees. We just got a gold sapling, so let me automate this. Okay, so now we need to make a redstone sapling, which I have all of the ingredients for apart from red dye powder, which I think is 
red dye. I think we can make it like that. There we go. We've got two redstone saplings, so let's automate them. Uh, so now the next sapling we're gonna need is a uh, mineral sapling. So we're gonna need these saplings I currently have in water. Do I have water in here? I do not, so I need to go get my water bucket, which I put in the chest behind here. There we go. And I'm gonna get the water over here. There we go. I, did, I didn't break the water source. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna need to put this in it. There we go. So now we've got a mineral sapling that we need to make a lot of. Now we need a silver sapling for silver. We need silver amber for silver amber. We need lead, petrified, and tin, which we have all of it. And light gray dye, which I believe we have. So we need a white tulip, which I have in my inventory. There we go, light gray dye. So we're gonna put the light gray dye in the center. We're gonna craft this sapling now with this amber. Uh, oh, we're missing tin resin. I believe, oh, I have tin resin, there we go. And then tin, there we go, and boom. We now have two silver resin, which these two ambers to melt in here. And then we need to put this cast back down and we need a mineral sapling. And we're gonna put the mineral sapling in there. And then we've got the silver smelting, which is really nearly done already. Pow. So now we've got four silver. We're gonna put the silver on the mineral sapling. I think we've not got enough to make anything else with it, so that's fine. But this is the before last sapling that we need. And now it's time for the secret sapling. Now it's time for the last sapling. The last sapling, guys, is diamond saplings. For a diamond sapling, we need gold, silver, and lapis with a redstone sapling. We have every single bit of that, right? We need gold, lapis, and silver. Lapis, silver, and gold. Pow, pow, pow. We now have diamond saplings. So these are all of the important saplings we created today. Silver sapling, diamond sapling, redstone sapling, mineral sapling, tin, gold, lapis, and lead saplings. Now let's go automate all of those over there. So I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, comment down below what you think Captain Fletchlands is gonna do uh, to escape off of this island. And also comment down below how many diamond resin and acorns you think we'll have by next episode. I think we're gonna have like a, a chest full. 